Leaders in technology are now voicing their opinions on politics and immigration reform through the advocacy group Forward.us. Cronkite News reporter Sunaina Tandon is in the broadcast center to tell us how they're helping immigrants in the valley. Forward.us is fighting to secure our borders, develop a pathway to citizenship for undocumented immigrants, and create a simple employment verification system. I was able to go to their press conference in Phoenix. FWD.US, an organization founded by technology leaders such as Mark Zuckerberg and Bill Gates, has recently launched a chapter in Arizona to push for immigration reform. A key part of FWD.US is changing entrepreneur visas to make a clearer and simpler process for immigrants to begin their own businesses. Immigrants currently make up about 28% of entrepreneurs in the United States, according to the Harvard Business Review. Immigration reform would also help reduce the farm labor shortage in Arizona. We need immigrant labor to, to perform uh, the things we need to have done. A part of FWD.US is sharing the stories of American immigrants, such as Maria Gonzalez. Gonzalez is currently working on her bachelor's in social work. Due to DACA, an executive order by ex-president Barack Obama, Gonzalez can use her degree to serve her community despite her residency status. Mexico is my birth land. It is not my home. I know nothing about it. I'm basically American, just not technically on paper. Although there has been fear that the Trump administration will revoke DACA, over 17,000 work permits have been given to undocumented immigrants within the first three months of 2017. By passing common sense immigration reform, we will grow the economy, we will create American jobs, and we will strengthen uh, the thing that ties us all together, uh, which is that immigrant heritage. According to Stefan Gross, the chief actuary of USA Social Security Administration, 3.2 million jobs would be created by 2024 if we passed immigration reform. In the Broadcast Center, Sunaina Tandon, Cronkite News.